Well, hello there. I got my Friday shirt on. I'm all comfortable here sitting in my office. What, we, what have we been talking about? Uh, let's see, gametes, uh, fertilization, uh, zygotes, uh, alleles, a bunch of things. So let's uh, kind of recap a little bit of that. Um, and using tongue rolling as an example, uh, how many copies of the tongue rolling gene are in each one of our body cells? Two copies, you know. On one of those homologous pairs they are. Uh, so two copies of the tongue rolling gene in each body cell. Where did they originally come from? They came from gametes. What are gametes again? Egg cell or sperm cell? So egg cells, sperm cells, whichever one. Uh, how many copies of the tongue rolling gene are in each egg cell and sperm cell? One. So gametes have one copy of the tongue rolling gene those come together through the activity called what? Fertilization to form a cell, what? The zygote that has two copies of the tongue rolling gene and then mitosis takes over and now all our cells have two copies of the tongue rolling gene. One more time, gametes have how many copies of the tongue rolling gene? One. And body cells have how many? Two, courtesy the process of what? first fertilization and then mitosis. Alright, we shift gears now from an allele joiner to a process that is an allele separator. Does exactly the opposite. That would be meiosis. Meiosis is an allele separator. So I'm looking at this question, uh, 13 in your study questions. When meiosis produces gametes, what happens to each pair of alleles? Etc. Well, let's see. Let's uh, make a little diagram here. And uh, as far as human parents are concerned and tongue rolling, there are three. There we go. Three types of parents. There are big R, big R parents. There are big R, little r parents. And there are little r, little r parents. Now, in writing those two alleles, What's that called? A genotype. In writing that genotype, what does that represent? Does that represent a body cell or a gamete? I hope you're thinking body cell, because body cells have how many copies of a gene? Two. Have two. So this represents the parental body cells. Now, in our reproductive organs, a process called meiosis, that's what we're talking about now, takes place that does what? It separates these little partners. It, uh, it can be represented like this. And so, what have I represented here? I have represented here a process called meiosis. Meiosis is an allele separator. Yes, it is. And so, what ends up in gametes? Well, we can represent it this way. Let's start with this one. What I've, uh, what I've represented here are gametes. And so uh, if you happen to be a big R, big R parent, what's going to end up in your gametes? What are you going to pass on to your offspring? If you're a big R, big R parent, you're going to pass on a big R in your gametes. How many? How many copies of that big R? Just one. And so again, gametes have how many copies of the tongue rolling gene? Just one. And so fertilization brought those two together. Meiosis is separating them. And so each, uh, if you're a big R, big R parent, you're going to pass on a big R, one big R in your egg cell or sperm cell to your offsprings. All right, what if you're, uh, let's, let's go all the way to the end. Uh, if you're a little R, little R parent, kind of the same thing, right? What's going to be in your gametes if you're a little R, little R parent? You're going to pass on a little r. How many in each gamete? One. One little r in each gamete. Now the one that's a little bit more interesting, and I'm getting a little crowded here, so let me change colors uh, just to keep these all straight. If you are a heterozygous parent, in other words, big r, little r, what are you going to pass on in your gametes? Well, you will pass on either a big r or a little r. And as we'll see in the uh, in the uh, discussion to follow, meiosis 
if it works right, which it usually does, separates everything right down the middle, everything's even all the way around. And so, one half and one half, if you're a big R, little r parent, one half of your uh, gametes will have a big R, one half of your gametes will have a little r. And so you have, in essence, a 50-50 chance of passing on a big R or a little r to your offspring. And so, let's uh, check the following questions. How many tongue-rolling alleles in each human gamete? This represents the gametes. How many tongue-rolling alleles in each human gamete? One? Yep, yeah, it's one. Body cells have two. Gametes have one. Yeah, if you're going to do it the other way, starting gametes coming to body cells still. Gametes have, uh, gametes have one. Body cells have two. What did I just represent? fertilization, but now we're doing meiosis. Meiosis separates, again, body cells have two copies, gametes have one, and, uh, and then we have accomplished the last part of question 13, um, and uh, we've, we have this diagram right here. We've illustrated this with diagram, these diagrams right here. So, uh, what happens to each pair of alleles during meiosis? each pair of alleles are separated so each gamete only gets how many copies of a gene? One. You got it? I bet you do. That's it for this one.